Sandtroopers.com. Never imitating, always innovating. Bringing you the latest coverage in the Star Wars galaxy. As a Star Wars collector yourself, uh, what's the next thing coming out that you look the big Falcon? Now that we can talk about it, uh, the uh, what's the other thing? The ATTE. What, what 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 are you looking forward to the most? My problem is that I find it all cool. I really do. <laughs> um, I find I find a, 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 a great design on a T-shirt, and I and I find it cool. I see something in Japan, like uh, this company, this 300-year-old company, Yoshi Toku, which did the Darth Vader samurai armor, um, and this year is doing a a uh, stormtrooper samurai armor head. Um, the the new Millennium Falcon from Hasbro is unbelievable. I mean, you, you just look at the box and the size of the box, you know you're in for an experience when you open it. Um, that is a toy I truly want to play with. Um, and Lego is coming out with a with a giant Death Star with levels and a bunch of exclusive figures. Um, and the stuff that Kotobuki is doing in general, giant and and I've seen some of the advanced stuff from FX, which is our new, our new company doing, doing lightsabers and things. And then we have a new uh, Museum Replicas doing actual replica costumes that you can either wear or you know, put on mannequins. Um, it, it's a whole new world for Star Wars collectors from, from low-end stuff that's very affordable to you know, limited edition higher-end stuff. I was just at uh, Star Wars Weekends at Disney. Oh my God! The, uh, I, I just—it's—it's it's very cool. It's the designs are really great, and um, and it's uh, it's a great time to be a Star Wars collector. Those of us who are old enough to remember the dark times <laughs> between, say, 1985, 86, and 1993, 94, there was practically not. I mean, one new thing would come. Out. We got excited by Bendy's for crying out loud. I mean, it, it, it's crazy. There's just, I, I think the retailers, and certainly our licensees, really do get it now that when we say Star Wars is forever and it's a, it's a permanent brand to speak in retail terms, it's true. Star Wars is going to be there. It's not just for a major movie coming out, although, um, uh, I think there'll be a lot of fans and collectors in line at Toys R Us stores at midnight on the 25th, the 26th. So uh, that's going to be fun because all the new Clone Wars stuff is coming out then. Um, it's, yeah, there's lots happening.